Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. It is Pep Talk Tuesday, and I have such a good one for you today. So today's Pep Talk is entitled, Instagram is not real life. What do I mean by that? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? So if you're an Instagram user, which most of us are, you go to Instagram and you open up these beautiful profiles and they're, they have the perfect travel photos and they're all super glossy and they have perfect lives. And I'm here to tell you, Instagram is not real life. What you are viewing is exactly what whoever the influencer, Instagrammer, YouTuber, whatever they're trying to show you on Instagram, you are seeing that segmented little profile. But where that comes into play for our arena, which is growing big, supersized travel agencies, is a lot of people get discouraged, right? So you go to Instagram and you see all this, these beautiful profiles or you see these Instagrammers that have millions and millions of followers and you think, oh my God, why bother? I can't compete with that, right? And it's easy to get discouraged. A lot of us suffer from that complex of, if I can't be the MVP, if I can't be the Oscar winner, if I can't do it the best, why even try, right? And that's where you end up giving up. And that is the biggest mistake you can make. Because guess what? There, first of all, in our industry, as you guys know, there is a ton of available abundance. Travel is a trillion dollar industry. There is room for all of us to have abundance, all of us to have six figure plus businesses and beyond. But if you stop in that place where you get discouraged or you're like, oh, if I can't be Cindy, if I can't be this influencer, if I can't be this, why bother? Why try? And you just get stuck right there. It'll never happen for you. Your goal is not to be me. It's not to be the person on Instagram. Your goal should be to be whoever authentically you are in the best way possible. Through this expression of creating your business, especially in today's environment, authenticity is what people connect with. So you can't pretend to be Cindy or you can't pretend to be, you know, um, what's the big Instagram I'm thinking of? The, the, the blonde traveler, I can't think of her right now, but she's got millions of followers. You can't be her, because you're not her. You're you, you're Tom or Fred or Sally, so be the best Tom, Fred or Sally, and do that in an authentic way, and I promise you will start to build your own community that will connect with you. You can make offers and they will buy from you, right? But if you get stuck in that, stuck in your head and can't work past that mindset piece of, oh, I can never do what Cindy does. I can never do what so-and-so does. Why even bother? Then you've lost the battle before you even started. So I wanted to just kind of jump on and encourage you guys today. If, you know, the goal is to have your, your big, supersized six-figure plus business, right? That's, that's where you want to be but there's different roads that will get you there. So knowing A, who you are authentically, being extremely clear on what your company's message and story is, is really, really important. And then take the road that's going to work for you. I'm gonna give an example without giving names so nobody get nervous. <laughs> so last week we were at our Gold Digger Retreat, which was amazing. We did. Uh, photo shoot. We had a production team come in and interview us on why savvy customers use travel agents in the are turning back to travel agency travel agents in the industry. And um, this process was horrifying for some of the participants of the retreat because the camera scares people. Getting in front of camera scares people, and that is perfectly okay. So if if that's not their mode of connecting with their clients, we worked with each client to say, okay, so if this isn't a fit for you, how are we gonna connect with your audience? How do we get you, Fred or Sally or whoever, 
How do we connect to your audience in a different way? Maybe we put you behind the camera and you do it through your pictures or you do it through a different, uh, through a different vehicle to get your marketing engine to still produce the same results but do it in a way that works for you. So again, there's different roads that can get you there. A lot of people get stuck on this first step, which is, oh, why would people book through me? Why would, they're going to go to, you know, this person's thing and see this, they're going to go here. Just stop right there. Like stop with the self abuse and recognize if you're a great agent, or if you're passionate about travel, you can be successful in this industry. But first, you have to get your mindset in that place where you decide that you're gonna be the best you. You decide that your company is gonna have a unique vision or a unique twist and you can re represent that through your marketing engine. That's what we work with clients with all the time because it's custom and what speaks to you know, one client is not gonna speak to another client. So what your goal is is to authentically connect with those clients that feel that bond with you and they're gonna do business with you for years and years and years. So Instagram is not real life. When you see the stuff, guys, remember it should inspire you, not discourage you. There's, we can actually all lift each other up in this industry and say, great, I'm so glad that Cindy's doing this, or I'm so glad that Jody's doing that, or I'm so glad that so-and-so's doing that. Good for them. You know, what's my road to getting there and starting to craft that and starting to develop it? So I, help, I hope that this, this talk is helpful for you. And maybe it's what you needed to hear today to move you past that first block of like, maybe you've been holding back on not pulling the trigger or not moving forward because you just feel like, oh, but whether you're doing it on your own or you're going through, you know, something like our careers on vacation program where we hold your hand and teach you how to build your business, whether you're starting or whether you've been struggling for years and you don't know how to, you know, maximize your marketing or do some of these things we're talking about, like clarifying your company's vision and story and getting, finding your road, right? So whatever path you're taking, always I wish you much love and abundance, but if you're ready, book a call with my team careersonvacation.com backslash ready now and you can apply for the fall semester we have a few spots left but in the meantime guys go out there and kill it be your best you i am cheering for you wherever you are in your stage and your process we'll talk soon bye guys <laughs>